Wow, that was so much fun. Hey guys, we just got back from Sydney. We checked out Microsoft's only store in Australia. Can you believe that? They've only got one store in Australia, whereas Apple has like stores everywhere. Yo, what's up, bros and bros? Did you know that Microsoft have a store as the world's number one most valued company at this present time? Let's go in and check it out. Surface Pro, Surface Pro Touch, bro. The interesting thing about Microsoft Store is that it's exactly a copy paste job of um, Apple's stores. Yeah. Like honestly, everything they even clap out their staff members exactly the same. It was One good thing about it though, they do have an Xbox section with a massive screen yeah. and you can actually just play games non-stop. But what we did, we were checking out the Surface Studio 2. I am quite a simplistic person. The thing I like the most about it was the fact that you can actually move the screen up and down. I thought that was pretty awesome. But my worry is that if you keep doing that like all the time, because I probably would do that, will it break? The second thing I liked about it also was the pencil. Now, as you can see, I've got a pencil here of my own, the Apple iPad pencil. That one was cool, but on the nib of it, or the nib of the actual pencil, looked a bit wonky, like it looked like it was a bit broken. I don't know if it's because lots of people were playing with it at the same time, but I did like that you can like draw on it and you can actually um, you know, touch the screen, you can use your fingers and you can move the screen as well. So that was my first thoughts about it. What about you? What did you think? I, I, I agree with you. One thing that's really cool that with their pencil that you don't get on an iPad is that they do have that twisty thing. I don't know the official name, yeah. but what you can do is while you're sketching, you can actually turn and change the, the size of the nib. So you can get some pretty cool sketches out there. But what I did notice is there was something a bit off when you're drawing between the screen and the actual pencil. Yeah. It felt like slightly janky. It's, it's not It's not that it's not smooth. It just felt like it needs probably another year or two of yeah. refinement before it's fully there. So there was a time delay almost, wasn't there? Yeah, it was, yeah. It was, it was just... What the cool thing about it though is you can actually draw on the screen and obviously a lot of professional artists what they usually do they have like a Wacom tablet or something like that and they draw on the tablet and they look at the screen and and they got to get a lot of practice practicing where the pencil is drawing and where the screen is correlating yeah. to yeah. But with this one you can literally draw on the point and that's a uh, pretty fascinating but you know it is it is, uh, to be honest, at the moment, it's just a, a bit of a, a fun device. Like, it's very, very, very overpriced. I mean, mm. the problem with, with that guy is, firstly, the, the tech specs, they're not that impressive. They've got um, last year's processor and it's only a quad core. They've got an NVIDIA graphics card that goes up to 10, 1070, so it's pretty decent. But the processor lets it down and the port selection's a bit dated now. It's only got USB-A and it's got Ethernet, but only one gigabit in Ethernet. What? Well, if, if you're in a professional studio, you really want 10 gigabit yeah, because okay, that's uh, that's the speeds that you need. It's it's a unique device. Like I, I haven't seen another device that has something like that and it's got a touch screen and all that stuff. It's very expensive. Mm -hmm. It's uh, the minimum, the base price compared to an iPad. I'm sorry, compared to an iPad. <laughs> compared to an iPad, iPad's really expensive actually. You get a lot more. You get a lot more. <laughs> but um, this guy is 5,500 Australian dollars for the cheapest model. Whereas um, you can get an iMac, that one starts at $3,000. That's a lot of difference. Well, at, at its most expensive end, if you max out both devices, it's still more expensive than the most top spec iMac, not an iMac Whoa. Pro, an iMac that you can get. It's $500 more Australian. Wow. So it is a bit of a, a niche yeah, product. It is. I can imagine if you're like an artist or a designer or a graphic designer, that would be your thing. It would be tempting. Yeah. I, I don't think it will be your thing because it's not an industry standard. Oh, it's not an industry well, standard. Artists, they use tablets. You know, they draw on yeah. a tablet, so. The one thing I did like about it though, is you can actually, well, apparently it didn't work for us. Oh yeah. <laughs> but you can actually write on the screen and then it recognizes your handwriting and it converts it into text. The guy did try and show us this, but he said, oh, I'm sorry, it's not working today. <laughs> and it felt a bit, yeah, like I said, it's a bit janky, like um, the touch screen's great, but it's, it's on Windows and it just mm. feels weird using a touch screen. And yeah. I was, I was on the, the internet, I was trying to use it and swipe it and it just wasn't fully there. And for the price, it's very expensive. Did it have a keyboard? Yeah, yeah, you got oh, a key. okay. <laughs> She would just touch I it up the screen. I didn't notice. It. So overall, I think it's a, it's a very fancy device. I love the direction Microsoft's going with their devices. They're trying to be more premium like Apple. So I'm excited about the next yeah. couple of years. I think it's right awesome. now, you have 
you, you, you have to really be sponsored by Microsoft to be getting one, right? <laughs> right? I wouldn't pay for that. <laughs> yeah, I, I personally wouldn't pay for it. I'd probably still get an iMac because that still has prestige written all over it. But in a couple of years' time, I have a, I'm excited about the Surface Studio 3 when that comes yeah. out next year. Hopefully, if they up the specs and even their laptops are getting better and better and better. So it's like, exciting times. I probably would skip this one, but uh, I check it Maybe out. If you've got a Microsoft time. store yeah. near you, you definitely check it out. They're very, very friendly people. They're definitely. a bit of fun. Reminds me like Apple, except they haven't. They, I think because at the moment they're they're slightly the underdogs, especially with the the stores department. They're, they're a bit more friendly. Like they saw they us are. with a camera and they were like, "Yo, film us, please." Whereas they go to Apple <laughs> with a camera, they'll be like, "You can't film. You can't, can't film. Get it? Yeah, yeah." It's awesome that it's the only one in the whole of Australia. The only Microsoft store. It's not awesome. Store. It's sad. I wish there was one down the road. I want to really? check it out. Go again? Yeah, I miss it. All right, let's, I, let's go I'm to Sydney. I'm a tech man. Let's no. go to Sydney. Let's go. All right. All right. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this. If you are going to be getting yourself a studio, a Surface Studio, let me know why. Because... I don't understand why. Just and let me know what you think of the pencil as well, especially the nib, because the nib I found it's looked not as like good as it the was iPad not Pro. great. Yeah. But next year it's going to be good. They got the magnet thing. iPad stole that. Apple stole that. It's true. It's true. Is that, is that he ended? That's all. Yeah, okay. yeah. I had some notes. So I was going to say something. Oh, why don't you say some more? I, I cut the notes. No, that's it. I'm out, I'm out of things to say. Is that what so you want good to say? That's good enough. Okay. Yeah, done. done. Look at that. We're going to just edit this out now, stick it on the internet, and well, Presta, I was going to say, I was going to say, okay. it's got an i5 and an i7, up to four gigabytes, NVIDIA GeForce GPU, up to 32 gigabytes of RAM, and Intel Core TM processor. Does that make sense? Hey! <laughs> <Okay. laughs>